Hello, what is up everybody? RL57 here back with yet another die cast car video and in today's video we will be checking out uh, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS one especially in this pyro uh, sorry white with pyro accent package whereas this one is black with pyro red accent package and this uh, is quite an interesting review as we will be checking out these two new um, like I would say latest I would say uh, latest additions to the collection of my mini GT um, cars so far mini GT I have been collecting for such a while now uh, some models that I have no time to review it for you guys I have been collecting uh, them uh, recently still and um, yet I have a few models that I did not manage to review yet so far um, but I can say that my collection is currently growing there are like a total of 40 to 50 mini GT models that I have currently and um, these two are one of my favorites as these um, these two like um, 911 GT3 RS's are one of the cars that when I saw them like hyping up about the car when they announced the uh, release I was like oh this is something that I really need to get and indeed I need to get both colors and here I have it both with me today so I guess um, let us start with the first one right here which is the Mini GT Porsche 911 GT3 RS white with pyro red accent package and uh, you can see on the side of the box right here you do have the um, car itself presented on the side of the box Mini GT number 630 you do have the socials of Mini GT and moving to the, towards the back license by TSM model there is the barcode if you need it so uh, you can read there Porsche 911 992 GT3 RS white with pyro red accent package left hand drive uh, Porsche licensing right there which is nice TSM model licensing Porsche official licensed product right there very very nice there is the bottom of the box and the side of the box this is uh, I believe the reseller that I bought it from is um, buying it from CLDC I'm not entirely sure and there is Mini GT 164 scale. That is the white with red uh, pyro accent. Whereas this one is the black with uh, pyro red accent. You do have Mini GT right here. Uh, this side of the car again. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Black with pyro red. On the top it says 981. MiniGT.com and blah blah basically their socials. And at the back right here, TSM model, um, Porsche 911 992 GT3 RS, black with pyro, uh, red right hand drive. So, <laughs> I just realized by the time I bought this car, compared to the one that I bought, the white one, this one is right hand drive, whereas that one is left hand drive. I did not know that, surprisingly. <laughs> I just bought it and I didn't check the box whether it's right hand or left hand drive. Uh, so it says Porsche, uh, basically their licensing and TSM model. There is the black one. So which one shall I open first? I think I shall open the raw color first. I mean not the raw color, but more to the um, first color sort of uh, release by Mini GT. This is a unique one. I myself like it very much. The uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which just looks gorgeous look at the detail that this car has it's just wild you might remember i did a review on the 911 gt3 which was in blue i did that review may maybe a year ago if i'm not mistaken and that was great but this is just epic just look at the detail the massive wing at the back the uh, wider fenders of the car the racy race ish look on the car damn that's nice with the addition of the pyro red accents that i said just now 
These are what we call pyro red accents on the rims as you can tell. They are somewhat sort of like a chrome-ish matte red sort of color as you can tell from the rims right here and the details are just crazy which I'm gonna talk about later on. In the video right after we open the second one which is the pyro with uh, sorry the black with pyro red accents. Uh, this one is also a nice one as um, right after I bought the white one they surprisingly reached Malaysia as the black one uh, officially releases as well right after that so yeah basically I had to get both as well I'm gonna explain why in a moment but um, there is a reason I had to get it fast so like I said this one is in black fully metallic black they, they didn't mention what type of black is this but it's fine um, pyro red accents like I said on the rims yes they have massive rims uh, pretty similar on the other one as well just that this one is fully colored in black which is absolutely nice um, I guess we shall start off with the white one first so what happened was I did manage to buy this car um, very much as if uh, it is at its regular price which uh, if you ask me personally in Malaysia it costs around 50 Malaysian Ringgit which is also um, equivalent to like um, I think around eight dollars or ten dollars somewhere there and um, yeah it's somewhere around ten to uh, eleven dollars I think and if you ask me personally do I really collect Porsches yes and no it depends what type of models I love and what models I don't and um, judging this it's just great uh, it's just a great model just to look at it in person no matter it's the die cast 164 118 132 143 or actually the one-to-one -one big scale car like in real real life basically it just looks great now um, seemingly enough maybe some of you do not know what is a gt3 rs Basically, if you've seen the review of my Porsche 911 GT3 that I've done a review pre previously, colored in blue, uh, you might have known that that is basically a road legal version that you may have known for the past little while now, of course. The GT3 RS takes a step further. It is actually track legal as well, where you can bring towards the track you can have fun with it, you basically can do any races with it, um, track days, uh, what else, parades, whatever, you can just name it all. This car is capable in terms of its speed, aerodynamics, you have the grip, basically for cornering and all, tight corners, basically, it's just a perfect, one of the perfect, um, like, I would say, um, sports cars or supercars somewhere there it is a different type of Porsche I would say it focuses more on track but at the same time it is road legal as well and it's not that you cannot really use it on the road you can um, but it will feel a bit different from the 911 GT3 as you may know and um, yeah without uh, without that let's actually talk about the car that is in front of you right now you can see on the screen yes it is highly detailed like i said it is colored in this sort of white metallic white which is gorgeous uh including some red accents on the side of the car and some other red accents which include the rims which i have to talk about which are the specialized pyro spec rims which are specially made for the Porsche 911 GT3 lineup and basically what type of cars use these rims are basically the 911 GT3s and with this specific pyro red sort of color right here they are mainly used for these two castings so 
if by any chance you might see this these rims return they might only be used only for these 911 gt3s but might come out in different colors who knows maybe there's a pyro blue pyro green i don't uh, actually know but what i know is currently what we have right now is basically just the pyro red on both white and black uh, 911 gt3s that we currently have and um yeah talking about this basically means that this car has its own unique speciality which is by the rims and basically the whole detail of the car so i guess um yeah that is for the white one let us um, take a closer look actually at the white one first then we move on to the black one the black one i don't really need much explanation because it's basically the same thing just that the color of the car is basically different so we'll start off on the side first i will explain this in detail whereas the black one i won't as it's basically the same thing so i'll explain here on what the car has in detail so you do have these gorgeous looking pyro red sort of rims which are highly detailed they are insane love the chrome sort of matte color right here that it has it's just fantastic uh doing by the side you do have this like vent right here on the side so it does have this like small little stripe which says gt3 rs on the door which is cool um like hold on let me focus it more uh nothing on the door handle or anything rubber uh side mirror as well uh pretty cool and i do really like it you do have this like side um side skirt right here which is yeah metal yeah it is metal which is actually uh, pretty cool is it carbon fiber uh no it's not so if you're wondering whether that is carbon fiber or not no it isn't i thought it was you do have some vents right here on the side for your aerodynamics as always and uh, judging uh, judging by the side it look, already looks very nice moving down to the front gorgeous right here you do have the headlight details right here which are lensed headlights and they are transparent regular tint for the headlights moving down to the middle right here you do have the tiny little porsche logo right there as well and then you do have some grill detailing as well and also some vents at the front as well you do have the front splitter right here which is um, metal as well detailed very nice you do have some hood vents and uh two hood vents on the front right here which are to um eliminate air basically so that uh, air will exit from the hood basically throughout the whole car and um yeah creates more downforce for the road basically regular windshield tint blacked out interior blacked out seats as well moving down to the roof yeah nothing much just to say that here is the other side um yeah nothing much to say else about this basically the same thing with the pyro rims uh just if you're asking do these have like brake calipers or anything no but if you do want brake calipers you might have to take a step further unscrew the rims basically blah 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 take it out and um, find suitable rims for it but if not if you want to leave it in this pyro spec rims then yes i highly do recommend you leaving it in these style of rims not changing it or anything because these already look very nice and very great to be honest i do really like it and uh, moving down to the back right here you do have this massive rear wing like i said just now uh is it is it metal yes if i'm not mistaken is it metal actually i think no it's actually plastic so yeah it is actually plastic i thought it was metal but it's um, yeah it's actually different so yeah plastic rear spoiler right here which is pretty big uh, if you ask me it's like a few millimeters and uh, um, height and all from the back of the car you do have the side of the um, um, 
rear spoiler here colored in sort of black as well and you do have the uh, support for the spoilers as well two in the middle just actually pretty cool uh, nothing much on the rear window just if you're wondering uh, i did forget to mention that you do have the rear light details which are sort of um, detailed in some black um, detailing on the side right here as well you do have the rear lights which continue from the right towards the left it's basically fully rear lights right here which is nice and then you have the gt3 rs text right there beneath the rear lights i don't know if you can see it or not but there it is i believe it says porsche right here in the middle as well i don't know if you can see it or not and uh yeah uh what else you do have the are these brake lights or are these uh, reverse lights i don't know i think these are brake lights if i'm not mistaken and um yeah you do have a double exhaust system is it let me tell you. yes twin exhaust pipes in the middle not on the sides or anything but yeah in the middle there are two right there and you do have the rear diffusers which are pretty much detailed and i really like it Moving down to the base, you know Mini GT with their metal base, uh, Mini GT made in China, right there, very nice. So um, I'm just going to put it on the turntable, I won't be discussing uh, in detail about this as it's basically the same thing. I'm just going to show you the front side, uh, left, I mean the front side view, the roof and all without explaining it in detail just so that you can uh, see it clearly on uh, whether the sides are detailed or not is it similar to the white one but yeah I'm just gonna show you the, uh, the car, the black one on the turntable right now and um, yeah try to see if there's uh, any details that you like on this car you can comment down below whether you like the white and black one as well um, you can discuss whether you like the white one better or the black one uh, to me personally i love the white one as um, you know the white one actually like it feels more 911 gt3 rs ish if you ask me personally because i really do like the 911 gt3 rs when it first debuted um, a few years ago colored in white as its main color uh, they do have certain specs for this car where you can actually customize your own 911 GT3, send it to the factory. Basically, you can like option the colors, option the interior color, you can option the wheels, uh, the spoiler. I don't think so. The spoiler does um, uh, is able to uh, option or not. I know the color of the exterior, the interior, basically your dashboard, your seats, your um, carpet and all. Maybe you may um, basically customize wherever you want according to your preference, but it does cost a bit more. Obviously, of course, you need to add more money to that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you right now the front side and uh, basically roof details. I won't be going through much in detail. You can see it yourself. There it is. Here's the side. Here is the front. If you're in a more detailed uh, way of me de uh, showing and talking about this, you can check out the white one that I showed you just now um, for explanation of the headlights, rear lights, and all. Basically, here's the roof. Uh, try to ignore their fingerprints as this is a black car obviously um, quite quite bothers the uh, fingerprints and all on the car here is the other side here is the back with the massive rear spoiler at the back you can see the rear lights clearer on this one which is just a red uh, straight line at the back and there is the base Slightly different, they actually added something else at the back uh, base right here, the name of the car. Porsche 911 GT3 RS used under license. That's actually pretty good. So um, yeah, just if you're wondering, this one also has a metal base. So let us put both together on the turntable. So 
so um, about what I said earlier on why I bought this early so that um, yeah the stock one the stock won't, uh, won't be gone forever two let me just say that people here in Malaysia are trying their best in order to get this model as quickly as possible and uh, basically so that they can um, uh, add it to their collection because when the time I bought this it was at the price tag of uh, 50 Malaysian Ringgit or also known as somewhere around 10 USD I think and um, there wasn't really much stock here in Malaysia so uh, they didn't really get that much um, but they do restock it from time to time just that many people here in Malaysia they decided to buy it and basically sell it back for an extremely high price which causes some of the resellers to actually um, skyrocket their prices instead of 50 Malaysia Ringgit they sell it for, for, for around 80 to 120 Malaysian Ringgit which currently I see as the current price tag I've seen a 120 Malaysian Ringgit Porsche 911 GT3 RS in um, where was it I'm not entirely sure but uh, there was one of the stores if I'm not mistaken a reseller local reseller selling it for somewhere around 120 to uh, 80 to 120 Malaysian Ringgit which is I would say quite expensive not gonna lie for a 911 GT3 RS but my personal advice to you guys um, no matter you are from Malaysia or not maybe if you are from somewhere uh, other than Malaysia maybe you're from the US or anything if you want to get this car get it as soon as it releases and basically you don't need to think about it anymore you don't need to think about the price because the price at start is just your regular old price which is for uh, 50 Malaysian Ringgit or around 10 USD but if you buy it sooner there is a lot of chances that you might encounter more than 50 Malaysian Ringgit of a price so uh, at this point basically you've done a lucky save of I don't know around 60 bucks Malaysian Ringgit somewhere there I think so you might actually save a lot from buying it earlier instead of buying it sooner as well resellers these days they actually like mark up the prices very high just for this one casting not for both just for one of the 911 gt3 rs's they are pretty expensive they are highly sought after it's very very nice not gonna lie I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy it for the price of that 120 Malaysian Ringgit, no. But I would say it's safer for you to buy it earlier so that you don't need to buy it with an expensive price and waste your money basically. But uh, even though it's quite a uh, highly sought after car, in my opinion, I really do still like it. And if you ask me, I mean it depends if I like the color and I like the car of course, obviously I like the car but if I love the color then I might actually buy a another one as early as it comes out so uh, if you do see me coming out with another review of this one yeah basically that means I bought it on basically the release day itself once it reaches Malaysia basically and uh, to avoid any price increasement uh, in between so yeah in my opinion i really do like this car uh, not gonna lie it's very very unique fascinating i love the pyro red rims on these two they are just very very nice overall uh, really do like it it's uh, definitely my cup of tea i personally love the white one more uh, in my opinion I actually do love it and I hope that Mini GT will release more colors, more variants of this car that I might actually buy even though um, 
uh, even though they might be the same repeats they are still good to look at and um, yeah i guess that wraps up today's video once again i'd like to say thank you guys for watching see you on my other videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one see you soon bye bye